out here for a 16-year-old, Justin Morris, that was murdered in the streets. Right here, in this very spot that we stand at. And we right here, also, like I said, to take responsibility, us as adults. We got to take responsibilities. We got to wear the coat. We the ones that went there, we decided to have these kids. We got to wear the coats. We got to teach our kids. We got to guide our kids. We got to show them new things. We got to take our kids on trips. We got to let our kids know that it's more to just New York. It's more to the world than just New York City. It's more to the world than just your block, just this corner. People stand and walk around like they don't know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? But we as a whole, we got to come out here and help the community. We got to help the kids. We can't be afraid of the kids. We got to help the youth. We got to come out. We got to offer them jobs. We got to put them in training. We got to put them in programs. You know what I'm saying? We can't just stand out and, and, and just allow this to happen. We got to keep on to add on for our people, add on for our community, as everyone, you know, as Hispanics, as blacks, as white, Chinese, Jamaicans. We all got to come together, you know? We got a 16-year-old right here, you know, and he shouldn't have to be going right now. You know, he should be here learning. He should be learning how to drive. He should be learning, you know what I'm saying, to, 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 to get his diploma together, to get himself ready, to get focused on oh, his whole life ahead of him. He should be trying out for basketball teams, you know what I'm saying? We should not be right here planning a funeral for a 16-year-old. You know, everybody need to come out and support your community. You need to come out and support the youth. You know, we are the community. If you stand around and act like it's not affecting you in your community, then it may be affecting your kids when the kids can't walk down the block in peace. When you can't come outside in peace. You know, we need to get together. We got to do way more than what's going on right now. We can't be afraid of the youth. We got to help the youth. There's programs all around. We as parents, we got to come out and bring the kids to these programs. You just can't sit in your house and allow your kids to bring people up in your house all day and your house turn to a trap house. You got to bring your kid and put your kids in these programs. You got to take initiative as a parent. We got to stand up. Everything starts in the house. It starts at home. You know, your kids come out here and, and the neighborhood drug dealer, the pimp, the hustler, all of that is your kid role model. No, you need to be your kid role model. You need to introduce your kids to some role models. You need to bring your kid around. We got to come out, us as a community. We got to stop pointing fingers, point fingers at the kids, point fingers at the youth. If nobody is helping the youth and nobody's guiding the youth, then where are they led to? They're led to where? They're, they're led to disaster. They're led to we out here at for a 16-year-old youth. There's no way in the world that we should be out here burying a baby. You know what I'm saying? This is a baby right here. You know, all people are supposed to be getting buried. This young kid died with no experience or nothing. You know, 16 years old. And everybody walk around like it's cool, and it's not cool. Like, you know, it's nothing. But when it hit home, and then all of a sudden, you know, everybody want to come out. We got to come out now. We got to start helping these kids, man. You know, everybody got to come out. Start, you don't wait until they die, and then you want to run out and got something to say. No, have something to say while they're alive. Pull them to the side, speak to them. If you don't know them, then you know their mother, you know their father, speak to their parent. Let their parents know when you see them off point. Don't Rest wait until they're all the way off JT, point. Man. Rest in peace, man. And then they're dead. And once they're dead, it's too late. You know, we can't let this keep on happening in our community. You know, and this is for Justin Morris, but it's also for the millions of Justin Morrises that's all around that this is happening to every day. And then we want to come outside and we want to point fingers at the police and say the police killed our kid. The police did that. No, we killed our kid. Our kid been dead. He was walking dead, man. Because nobody's out here to drop no knowledge on him. Nobody's out here. Everybody's looking out for themselves. You got you a fancy car. You got you a nice house. Hey, it's over. No, it's not over. Because these kids is in the street. And those are the same kids that's going to want to come and rob your nice house. And want to rob your nice cars. And take from you because they don't have. So we ask you. You got to get up in the morning, take your kid to school. If you know there's problems out there on the street for your kid, then you get up and take them to school. It can't be too cold, it can't be too hot. That's your kid. You brought your kid, you brought this kid into this world. So that means that's your responsibility, 100%. You have to
to stand up as an adult. You have to be a parent. You are not your kid friend. You are not your kid's homie. You are not your kid hangout partner. You are your kid's parent. You're not supposed to co-sign the hanging out in my house. You're not supposed to co-sign the drug selling and drug dealing in my house. You're not supposed to co-sign the gangs hanging out in my house. For the death of young kids, man. Let's help these kids. Let's help our community. Let's help our community. Let's get these kids in anywhere. Church, anywhere they got to go in the library. It's cool to go in the library. You know, I always said if you're over a certain age, this is guaranteed by law you're supposed to have a library card. You know, we got to start. Uh, kids want to get on the internet all day. No, you got to take time out as a parent and open up a dish. I am here with Sally and her husband, Willie. This is a very important gathering, and we felt, the three of us, that we needed to be here to also learn our voices because it's important. I am, I am very happy that this young lady is here and this beautiful young lady is here because we're here for the future of that young lady right here in the camp. That's what this is all about. Sure, we're not, not much we were able to do for this young man. He's gone, he's, I'm sure he's resting in peace. And he's watching all of us in action. And what we need to do, and I'm here supporting the effort of Bragg, this organization, and I stand committed to continue to join you as you go around not only this neighborhood, but this movement starts here now, and we gotta try to organize our neighborhood black by black, we got to try to bring race awareness, black by black. We got to do everything we can to protect our youngsters, our future. So it starts right here. We have to start thinking about a massive march all around Grand Conquers, calling upon the ending of violence in our neighborhood. So well, that's why I'm here. And I want to thank you and Brad for bringing us all together on this very sad Sunday afternoon. Sad for this young man and sad for what has been happening in our neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming through.